Hello all, back again. This time I'm just going to show you how to access a Samba server when uh, using a Windows 10, because sometimes you can have problems. Right, normally, if you want to access a Samba server with uh, Windows 10, you need to install a feature. I'll just show you that. So I go to Control Panel, Programs, and you turn Windows features on or off. So I'll just go into there. Normally what you would do, I'll just scroll down, you would turn on SMB1, but I think it was um, removed or turned off in Windows 10 due to uh, like security problems. So it's not on. You can, use, you can do it that method. It's up to you, but I'll show you a different way. So I'll just cancel that and cancel. Right, my uh, Samba server is being run by Open Media Vault. So my Samba servers at 192.168.1.142 because I'm using Open Media Vault setup. So I just close that down. Right, so all you need to do is right click on the start menu, go File Explorer, and up here in the address bar, just go backslash, backslash, and the IP address of uh, Open Media Vault. So it's uh, 192. Dot one six eight dot one dot one four two and another backslash and press enter and they're the two folders I'm sharing on my Samba server via Open Media Vault. So I'll just go in to make sure they're there. Yep, there's one and that's the other. Right, thing I can do now if I highlight it I can now pin to quick access. So I've got movies there, and I'll do the same for TV. So I've got them on quick access now, so I can just go into my movies and go into my TV. The thing you can also do, if I right click on it, you can uh, pin to start. So that's one. And I'll just pin movies to start, to pin. So if I go into my start menu now, I've got TV and I've got my uh, movies as well. So I'll just close that down to show you it's working. So there's uh, TV and there's my movies. Nice quick little, uh, little video. So uh, as always, I hope this video has helped and uh, goodbye.